two, one. Okay, now it's live. Now it's recording. I guess I should do the introduction. No, no bullshit or anything. Um, okay, introduction. Go hanging with Gildum. Yo, yo, yo. Guest star, introduce yourself. Hi, it's Chaz again. That was probably the most awkward introduction I've done in all of these, but at the same time, uh, getting it out of the way so we can get into some real heavy shit. Oh, what? How heavy are we talking? Um, like, not too 500, heavy. Five hundred pounds? Or are we talking about like hundred and thirty? But it's like a piece of furniture. Well, I mean, it's kind of one of those things where it's like I don't know how to equate like pounds into emotional weight. Oh, okay. But oh, then again, oh, it's oh, not. So it's that that kind of heavy. It, it's not that heavy though, because it's, it's more frivolous and materialistic. If I have to get into it, because I feel like I owe the viewers an explanation. So, uh, well, the Final Fantasy, that's gotta be put on hold for a couple weeks. And the reason oh, yeah. is, my PS4 broke. I mean, I think I told you that, but at the same time, I haven't, like, said it on the channel, so... Uh, excuse me. You've announced it, you took a picture of it. Yeah, and, uh, it's on my Twitter, which, by the way, uh, if anyone's curious on how that's going, you know, you can always, like, go to Twitter, see the updates, because I've been generally just, like, keeping it updated there so my ps4 like it's official i got the box it's officially in the system all i gotta do now is just wait until sony takes care of that and then i get it back in like three to four weeks no, they will they yeah, will they'll, yeah they'll get to it at, at the very at, worst case scenario i get a new uh i get i get a new system because you know it's all warranty and they're like we can't fix this so here you go here's a new system go have I fun think I think they'll be able to fix it. Yeah. But you want to know the worst part about this whole entire thing? What's the worst part? And you know it, but, like, le the viewers don't. So, what, what's like, the worst part? So, like, the day before it broke, yes. uh, I got a new TV and a new mattress. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I got a new 55-inch 4K curved TV, you know, because I went all out. I was like, I want, I want, I want the good shit. You gotta go big or go home. Yeah, really. exactly. And I got a new mattress, so honestly, uh, I was doing some spring cleaning, found my lava lamp. My room is really chill and really cool right now, so literally I can just, like, trip. I, I can just zone out. I can yeah. zone out. I can just put on something really psychedelic and just zone out on my mattress while watching my TV and just not hey. really give a fuck. That's a good stuff. That's good stuff. Yeah, and, uh... Furthermore, I have a I have one of those uh, uh, PS PS4 Pros, okay. PlayStation Pro, PlayStation 4 Pro, Pro whatever. I, I I'm kind of trying to figure out how to phrase this in my head, but it, it's failing. I'm a little I, spastic right now. Like so, like the me. like the like the big one, like the like the model, or like you have PS Plus Pro. No, I mean like okay, so you know there's the PS4. Yeah, and then they create, then they made the uh, new updated version that's able to display uh, 4K graphics, and you know it's supposed to be beautiful, and it's supposed to like be all. Oh yeah, this thing's much more powerful, so it you know it can do stuff more powerful. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, so it's, like it's a just better a better model. model. Okay, I yeah. gotcha. Yeah, uh, that came out like late last year. I gotcha. Yeah. And, uh, my old PS4, that broke, and so I was just like, you know what, I think I'll get a PS4 Pro, just because, uh... Man, you don't, you don't have very good luck with PS4s. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's irrelevant. My point is, so I got my new TV, got into my new mattress, hooked up my PS4 Pro, hooked it up, and I got to play it for a day. I was playing Mass Effect Andromeda, and it was beautiful, man. It was, like, silky smooth. Everything was running, like, four, like 60 frames per second. It was just, it was amazing. It was, like, a mind trip where I was just like, oh, my God, I can't believe this is so crystal clear. Huh. And I was laying down on my bed like it was a beanbag chair, and I was just, it was so comfy, and it was so, it was so amazing. And then the next day it broke. Then you played the sad music over the radio. Yeah, I did. Uh, just a note, because everyone's been asking me. Uh, everyone wants to know, how did it break? And honestly, I don't know. Uh, this is literally what happened. Because, you know, this was me coordinating with Chaz, because we were planning on doing some Shovel Knight 
to be more specific, we were planning to do the DLC Plague of Shadows. Yes. And later on, at some point, I'd probably Spectre or Torment, but, you know, that that wasn't decided yet. As far as that I know, that's not even out for the PS4 yet. Is it even out yet at all? Yeah, it, well, it came out when the Switch launched. Oh, okay. Uh, but at the same time, they haven't, like, they didn't release it for everything else at that moment. I think it might be out for some things, but uh, I don't think it's out for the PS4 yet. Okay. Uh, but anyways, uh, so the day we were planning on doing this, you know, I got it all hooked up, was, like, playing my PS4 a little bit, turned it off, uh, did something for an hour, I don't remember, went back to, like, get everything hooked up, tried to turn on my PS4, and it would not turn on. It beeped, and then that's it. Nothing. And you tried this a few times, too? Yeah, I tried switching outlets, tried doing a whole bunch of other things. Nothing would happen. I couldn't even get Mass Effect Andromeda out of my system. Oh, is it still stuck in there? Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. I hope they give it back to you. I know. Well, I mean, either way, I, I provided them with all the information, you know, I, I sent everything. They, uh, they're, the slip asked if there was a disc stuck inside the system, and I, you know, of course I checked yes. Oh, okay, good, they actually... They'll know. I think, yeah, I think when I had a problem with the Xbox, they didn't even give a crap. You had, like, pry it open. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Anyways, so, yeah, uh, the point is, like, at... My system broke, and I don't know why. It just it just stopped working. That's a darn shame, man. Yeah, it is, and I've, I've been lamenting all week while I've been waiting on the box to get here. That reminds me of the time when I bought a Wii. The yeah. Wii when it was first coming out or whatever. Oh, yeah, know. dude, that was, that was like some hot shit right there. I bought Super Smash Brothers, the one that came on the Wii. Oh, and I bought all. a Wii. Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah, Brawl, okay. Yeah, that Brawl. Was Brawl. I bought Brawl, and I bought a Wii. But Brawl came first. Okay. And the Wii got delayed, so I had Brawl. Oh, I'm so sorry. But I couldn't sorry. do anything with it. I just had the game. Oh, no. <laughs> Luckily, a friend already had a Wii. Uh, so okay. I was like, hey, can I go to your house and <laughs> play your Wii? <laughs> I like it. I gotta be honest, though. Like, what makes this worse is, like, okay... So, I can't play Andromeda. Persona 5 just came out, and I got that in the mail. Oh, you're... L oh, no. Ukulele is coming out next week. Hopefully, um... Yeah, you won't have it back uh, by the... Uh, this one game I funded on Kickstarter. I think that's coming out really soon. That's coming out soon? I think so. I don't know. They're they're asking me for my information because, you know, I got funded. Oh, they're shipping it to you? Well, I mean, like, I think they're going to give me a code, which, you know, you just put in the PS4 store, or the PS4. Yeah, oh, okay. And it's like, okay, you know, here you go. Because, you know, I'm a backer, and, you know, I, I did the tier reward where I get the game and the soundtrack, which is kind of cool, hey. but... Oh, is the soundtrack digital or physical? Uh, I'm thinking it's digital. Okay, it's still pretty cool. Yeah, you know, I can put it on my MP3 player and listen to it at work. That That's what that's what it's all about, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I like video game music. I listen to it all the time at work. Uh, to be to be more specific, I listen to a lot of Final Fantasy, uh, Undertale, uh, Lisa, both uh, the painful and joyful. The, and you listen to... <laughs> I do, man. I do listen to Work Harder. <laughs> This song it's has very fitting. With... Hey, you listen to it at work. I do. So it makes you work harder. <laughs> Which isn't always a good thing, but hey, it, it is fitting. But anyways, what what I'm really trying to say is, uh, yeah, basically my, my system is uh, back, back to getting shipped to one of the Sony places to repair it. So it'll come back to me. But it's probably going to take about like three to four weeks. Well, let's hope that it doesn't. Yeah. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope that it let's, comes let's back. Let's hope that I don't have to delay my gaming on my PS4. And more importantly, uh, World of Final Fantasy, that's going to be delayed a little bit. Uh, yeah. I did have parts for the previous week, which I guess is irrelevant because now I, I have to figure something else out. But I I did record something. I recorded beat something, so, you know, I, I got something in, uh, in the time lapse, which, you know, there won't be any World of Final Fantasy. Go.
that sounds like a sad time. It is, man. You're in World of Final Fantasy. You're I, Choco I'm, Chaz. I'm a chocolate chick. You're a Chocobo. I'm a chocolate. Well, you know, oh. like I did unlock the uh, dark chocobo. Uh huh. So you're you're the dark chocolate now. Oh, that's my favorite kind of chocolate. Yeah, you're you're, you're the dark chocolate. I unlocked that. I think that was part nine or something. Uh, it was probably later. I don't know. Point is, uh, yeah, I have World of Final Fantasy going on, but I can't do anything with that at the moment. So all of y'all's are gonna have to wait. Well, and I'm that? sad about that, because I generally... I like World of Final Fantasy. It's a great game. It, it's like a love letter to all the fans. Hey, that's that's what I'm hearing. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I, I can't wait to get back to that. It should be good. Until then, uh, there'll be something in between. You have to, you have to sit tight for that. Yeah. Uh, it, it's Disney-related. I have a Disney game like to kind of just chill out with. Do they sing It's a Small World? No, man. It's, a, it's magical, though. It's magical. Is it? Is it? Is it the Mickey Mouse... Oh, what the heck is that game called? The Magical Quest Castle starring of, Mickey Mouse? C Castle of Illusion, that's no, what it is. No, it's not Castle of Illusion. Nope. Oh, okay. But it is starring Mickey Mouse. Ooh! I don't know any other games that star Mickey Mouse. That's ah, okay. Uh, it, it's also... I, I think it was produced by Capcom. Is it, uh, Adventures in the Magic Kingdom? No. Okay, that actually, that, that actually is a Capcom game. I believe it. But it doesn't star Mickey Mouse, so I don't uh, know why I bothered saying that. <laughs> hey, it, don't worry about it. It stars you. You're the Oh, it stars me? Stars Gildam Warrior? Yeah, when Gildam Warrior had a yellow <laughs> hat. Actually, I did have a yellow hat, so that a was like 6th yellow... grade. I was 12 years old. Like a big yellow cowboy hat? Mm-mm. Oh, -mm. well, this guy has a big yellow cowboy hat. I, I, it was just more of like a baseball cap. Mm. So, I don't know. I, I guess it's irrelevant. It could uh, still be you. Yeah, it's still me. Still Gildam Warrior. Or Chaz. Oops. I guess it all depends who the player is. It really w it matters what name you put there. Oh, uh, okay. So I could put, uh... I could put, like, uh, I don't know, uh, Anonymous. Poop you could put Poop Face. I could put Poop Face. Could and you Poop could, Face. Yeah. Hey. You could be. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be. I, sometimes I want to be something insulting. So, like, every time he oh, hey. says something, like, like, Goofy's in the game, too. He's like, hey, Poop Face. <laughs> 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 the hell you out here? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's... <laughs> that's the best. Right there. Oh, well, screw you too, Goofy. <laughs> uh, on, a, on a more positive note, because I don't want to complain about the fact that my PS4 is broken. <laughs> I found out, uh, actually two two things happened to me today. Okay. Okay. Happened? Uh, so I found out that I'm making 50 cents more at my job. Hey, that's that's a good deal. Yeah, I don't know when that happened, but apparently I, I'm making 50 cents more. So now I'm up to 18.72. Hey, that's a good deal. Yeah, this isn't too bad if I if I do say so myself. And now that everyone knows how much I make, uh, I don't know. I I really don't. Someone's probably gonna say, yeah, well I make like 30 dollars an hour. What do you have to say about that? Oh. Well. You know so what I have I to say? About that? Where are you working? <laughs> you know, accounting. Because I got, you know, I, I, and are they hiring? Uh, well, yeah. I don't know. I feel like you'd have to work your way up though for thirty dollars an hour. Absolutely. Oh yeah. I mean, to be fair, I could, I could probably make thirty dollars an hour if I went uh, into a different position, which I probably have a lot. Of, a lot of leeway into getting into, but uh, it's a really stressful position. I I hear ya. But will it be worth the money? Uh, depends how much the stress gets you. Hmm. That, I don't know, Pam. I don't know. That's the real question right there. Can you handle the stress? Could you handle the stress? Not me. I don't. I don't want to do anything. Uh, I would struggle a lot. I think. I think I have enough. I think I have enough patience, but at the same time, uh, 
do I, do I really want to handle the stress? Also, I would have no time for less playing. That's that's another side to it. Then, then maybe you want to not consider that. I don't know. I mean, like I'll, I'll consider it if I can uh, figure out some things. I don't know. Uh, it's one of those things where I guess it's more of like a, a plan B, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. I hear you. Yeah. No, I. Hear I mean, I got options. That that is the thing. I got options. I'm still young enough that I have options. I can figure out my life. I mean, I haven't screwed up yet. No, oh boy. I wish I could say the same. I, I'm still. I'm still pretty optimistic. I have friends that tell me, "Man, I wish I didn't go to college." Me. <laughs> well, no, actually, not you. I wrote, I wrote that, like, what, three days ago? I believe it. I wish I didn't go to college. <laughs> Which is kind of weird, because I've been hearing that a lot lately. Uh, you're you're not the only person. Time. It's a waste of time. Most people who go to college are, like, underemployed. Well, I mean, what I hear is, like, uh, so degree-wise. Yeah. Like, a lot of people want to get that dream job, you know? They, they want to get the job which, you know, the degree that they're trying to go for is actually applicable to a job that they can get. And it's the idea is, you know, it's the job that you've always wanted. Something fantastic yeah. that you'll never get tired of. Uh, basically, you know, you go, you, you like what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. Exactly. Yeah, yeah that's what but a lot of people... But the problem is... Uh... Those jobs are pretty much never available. And if they are, it's a hundred other people want that too. Yeah, and so basically, from what I hear, it's like either people will go get a degree that's basically useless, or, you know, like, uh, the degree they get, like, it, it's something that they absolutely hate. Yep, that's the, uh, that's, that's the, um, the sad truth. And it's like I, I get it. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to advocate that college is useless. I'm just trying to say there's there's a little bit of heartache when trying to go into college. And it's like I spent all this money. I, I'm so far behind in student loans that it's like I kind of wonder when I'll be able to pay it all off. And then, uh, shit. I don't know what to do with my life. I'm at a dead end job, which like the degree doesn't even apply to. I'm flipping you burgers. Uh, you almost summed me up perfectly there. Well, I mean, you're not flipping burgers. Um, that's the only part that wasn't <laughs> true. I'm not flipping burgers. But see, like, at the same time, like, something you gotta understand, and this is probably the worst aspect that everyone's gonna be like, Oh my god, I, I, I knew it! Um, I'm a college dropout. I remember you were going. I was going, I dropped out. Twice. And that might be for the best, I mean. I mean, it wasn't It wasn't like I didn't... If it wasn't for you, if college is not for you, you should not force yourself to go. Uh, you know what it was? It's because I took too many requirements. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, no. I didn't have any electives. The idea was, you know, get all the really stupid stuff out of the way so you can focus on the fun stuff. The problem mm -hmm. is, like... You load yourself up on too much strict stuff, and it's like, this, this is boring, I don't want to stick to it. Exactly. Yeah. But of course, like, thinking about it, you know what the real travesty is? I could try to get a degree for what I want. I don't know if I could ever get a job for it, though. I don't know do where I'd start. Well, do you even need a degree for what you're trying to animals. do? Animals. That, that, yeah, that would be something. Animals. I want to work with animals. I'm a huge animal guy. A lot of people don't really get this about me, but I love animals. Animals, animals, animals. Oh my god. I, I, like, I know I'm just scratching the surface, because just announcing it is pretty much like, yeah, okay. But it's like, I could go into super detail when it comes to animals. You know, I, I love working with animals. I love, like, taking care of animals. Mm-hmm. I love studying animals. I watch nature documentaries just because I find it very fascinating. You know, the other day I was watching this documentary on the Komodo dragon, and it turns out that the whole botulism thing has actually been debunked. They're huh. actually venomous. They're the Are largest they? venomous animal on the planet. More than the Gila monster? Well, I mean, they're the largest venomous animal on the planet. 
Hmm. Not, not the most deadly, just the most venomous, or the largest venomous animal. The largest, okay. I got you. And their their toxin is hemotoxin. It affects hmm. the blood. Oh. At least I uh, I could be wrong, but I, I think hemotoxin means you know it, 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 the t the venom affects the blood. Mm -hmm. That or the heart, but I'm I'm gonna say blood. Yeah, well, maybe it's I don't know. Point is, I, I'm not. I'm just thinking off the top of my head, but you know, I, I I find that shit very interesting. I love that. I love it. And the and the Komodo dragon is the most amazing animal in the world. And it's like, man, if I if I could devote my life to just moving to the Komodo Islands and then working with Komodo dragons, regardless of like the all, all the all the safety precautions, because I don't even care about that shit. I just want to work with Komodo dragons. Like, I would be stuck for life. I would give up everything if I could do that. But of course, there's too many regulations involved to actually get to actually get a start into that. And I don't even know how I get from point A, which is here, to point B, which is over there. If anyone has any suggestions, I mean, you know, like hit me up, leave a comment, I don't, email me. I got, I got, I got a link on my page. I think in the about section, you can just. Oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you, you have can just like... hit me up there. If you, if anyone has any ideas, I mean, please, by all means, hit me up with that. But it's like, you know, the travesty here is like I'll never get to live out my dream, or at least I feel like it won't. If there's ever, if there's ever like some opening, like some golden window opportunity that just opens up in my life. You bet. You better believe I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna sh shatter that window and jump through it, and then I'm gonna live in the land of milk and honey. Milk and honey, man. What kind of honey? You, you, you going for pure? Sweet, S sweet. sweet it doesn't honey. matter, cause you know we're talking like we're talking like this. This is the fable land, the promised land. You know, it's it's. You got your rose tinted goggles that everyone talks about, but no, this land, it, it's it's the dream. It's the actually. It, it's it's not even it's, it's, it's the real. dream, but it's you live in it, and that's what everyone tries to achieve. You know, it's like the basis for the American dream, because that that's what America is. It's the land of opportunities. You're supposed to achieve what you've always wanted, or at least that's the belief. It, but, yeah, that is. Or it, what, well, I don't know if it still is. At well, worst, to be running, fair, but. my dream doesn't even involve America. The only way America helps is like if it was like a leeway into getting to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know if that makes any sense. But my point is, it's like it's a travesty. I'll never get to work with Komodo dragons. Well, of course, someone's gonna say not with that attitude. Not with that attitude. Oh, I knew it was coming. No, not not me. I, I mean, hey, maybe it, it's you a will. it's a very difficult road, and I don't even know how to begin to attempt it. First, you have to see a real one. A real? I've seen a real Komodo dragon. They have oh. them at the zoo. Ooh, or maybe. Me, or, me, or, hear, hear, hear me out. This is what's gonna happen, right? All right. One day you go to the zoo, and the zoo's like, "Yo, we're hosting tryouts to be." Intern zookeepers. I mean, that's an idea. The only problem with that, and maybe I should overlook this, because this is. I have thought about it, you know, I actually trying to apply for some position at the zoo. The only problem with it is, like, the commute is absolute garbage. Then you move out. I mean. And go closer. No, I mean, let me put it this way. Uh, the zoo that I'm talking about. Yeah. It, it's towards Seattle. Okay, so it's closer to Seattle. Yeah, and uh, anywhere near Seattle, the commute is, is absolute garbage. Like, tr there, no matter where you go, there's traffic. A I lot think I, I, I think I can under anybody who needs to go to any city probably can understand that. Yeah, and so basically, it's like you can take the bus, and you'll probably have better luck taking the bus. But trying to work around a bus schedule is is very very annoying. I know people who had to work around bus schedules. Yeah. They had to get it. They had to get up at four in the morning just to get to work for nine. Yeah, I mean, like because they had to take certain buses that go all over the place from mm -hmm. where they live. They're like, I, I'm, I'm like, at this point, you almost could walk faster. And I mean, like with my job that I have right now, it's 
it's pretty yeah. good. Like, I got benefits, I got everything. I'm pretty much set. Yeah, you're set. You're doing really well there. Uh, I, I'd have to work in conjunction with that. You could be like a weekend thing that you could do. Maybe. I don't know. I, I guess it, I, I guess it would be worth checking out. It, it's worth it, right? If I can live the Amer if I can live my dream, right? If you could live your dream of working with animals, it's probably worth at least a look. All right. I I guess I guess I have no option, uh, no other choice but to do this. You have a choice. Well, you have a, yeah. you absolutely have a choice, but it's worth looking into. You're the not other doing problem, it. You're just looking into it. The other problem is even trying to get like an interview so that you know I'm I'm okay to do this because uh, let me tell you something. It's a pretty famous zoo. Is it? Yeah, I mean, like you. I, I guess I Looks guess like I could say it because you know it's it's pretty famous. It's like the Woodland Park Zoo. Hmm. Like trying trying to actually get into that you know they're like just like anyone else trying to apply for any sort of position there's like 900 people right yeah that, that's the other unfortunate thing to this uh i don't know i don't know why this whole entire thing has been like summed up to broken dreams but hey broken, broken dreams. dreams hey that's 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 my entire life except I don't have any dreams to break. Oh. Well, I mean, like... Do you want to share a little bit? About what? My lack of dreams? Well, I mean, I mean <laughs> like... What what would you like to do if you had the choice? If I knew the answer to that question... I would... Be in a much better place than I am right now. Oh. Uh... Mentally. I really... I have no idea. Not even... Not even a clue. Really? A hundred percent. I have no idea what I'm doing with myself. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, I'm just kind of coping with it. But I mean, like you have the queen, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's. I mean, that's uh, that's my life with her. <laughs> and but, I mean, like, like in a way that that you've you've accomplished living that dream. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's 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 the good dream. That's a good I mean, dream. it's not career-wise. Like, what is your dream job, Chaz? I don't know. I don't know what my dream job is. You know what my dream job is? Not having a job. Not needing to go to work. That's my <laughs> dream job. Win the lottery, bro. That's, that's, I mean, that's, that's not, that's not feasible, though. That's not something you can, I can just do, you know. You well, can't I mean, just say, yeah, I'm not going to work. <laughs> Well, if you won the lottery, you wouldn't have to work. Uh, well, if I won the lottery, assuming but I have, like I the lottery was lottery. big enough, right? I don't play the lottery. I, I I'm not a lottery. fool. <laughs> oh come on, man! <laughs> what what was that thing? Go big or go home? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a fool, though. I'm not gonna say, ah, oh, this four dollar Powerball ticket. Is nah, man. Get, you know, really, you you really get a scratch like... ticket for a dollar. Those are like, you know what? I have won those scratch tickets. I've won, I've won a scratch ticket once. It was like for twenty dollars. I won twenty dollars. I was like, ah, oh, sweet. Now I can get so twenty that, more <laughs> with the double. Yeah, that, seriously though, that's what people do. They win scratch tickets and they buy more to see if they can get the big prize of like four hundred thousand dollars or whatever <laughs> the heck it is. Me, I, me, I went to the grocery store. I said, hey, look, I got, I won this. The grocery store actually works, like, they have the lottery kiosk there. They're like, all right, here's your $20. So I went in the grocery store. I bought, like, four packs of Oreos and a big bottle of Mountain Dew, and that was my $20. That actually sounds pretty dope if I do say so myself. I, I'm not, I wasn't complaining. I, I had wouldn't. Oreos. I had Oreos, man. <laughs> Oreos are pretty good. I, I'm not going to lie. That lasted me for a few few weeks. All those Oreos. Ah, <laughs> uh, anyways, let me tell you. Uh, I actually, I, I don't have anything to say. I mean, it's just like uh, I don't know. I, I'm I'm kind of at a loss for words. But I mean, like, let me tell you, I've never won anything from the lottery system. Oh. Well. Uh, that this was a gift from like a coworker. I don't uh, go. I don't go out and buy these one dollar tickets. Really? Not. Really. I don't. That's not me. I don't. I don't. I, I, I have don't. horrendous luck. Okay, because uh, I got that. I've never won anything. Like in fact, 
I did, I did go gambling, but it wasn't by my choice. It was like so my twenty first birthday. Yeah. Uh, my folks decided uh, to celebrate. They're gonna, they were gonna get me drunk, and then they were gonna take me to a casino. Cause you know, you're twenty one, you can do both those things. Oh, I got also. Casino. Also, I'm the oldest in my group of friends, so, you know, I couldn't party with any of my friends. I was, I was kind of solo for a large part of everything of that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they took me they took me to the casino, and uh, they gave me, like, $60 to gamble. Did you win anything with Actually, that? Actually, I take it back. They gave me $63. Oh, okay. The, the three is important, and I'll tell you why. Okay. I decided, yeah, so. okay. I, I decided I wasn't really in the mood to drink. I don't know. Personally, you asked me, like, drinking with your family is kind of really weird, especially with, like, my mom and my stepdad and my grandparents. <laughs> that, maybe it's just me, but, like, I, I, I have trouble trying to actually drink with, with any of my family members. I have no issues drinking around you or, like, Spider Mikey. Like, you guys are pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Spider Mikey will usually join in, in my drunken hijinks, but I digress. That's not the point that I'm trying to portray here. I can't drink with my folks. I tried. It just does not work as well as I want it to. Uh, but at the same time, I did gamble. I took those $3 and I gambled, like, in the penny slots and stuff. You know, I was just like, all right, let's see what I can do. Uh, in the process, I won about, like, $2. Hey, $2! So, but here's the thing. Okay. Uh, the opportunity cost of gambling those three dollars was in total five dollars because you know I gained two dollars but by the end of it I lost all of it so I basically lost five dollars uh, you know because the you, thing you you won two dollars payout yeah it, it during you spent five dollars I, I, I want you to know it wasn't like you know my first spin i won two dollars no it was the process of like losing and winning losing and winning so in total like i i lost five dollars that's a shame yeah so what i'm trying to say is my thought process was okay i'll gamble the three dollars but i'll pocket the 60 because with the 60 dollars i can at least buy a new game yeah, that's true. Sixty dollars. Yeah. Or, or you take that sixty dollars, you head over to the, to the um, the the baccarat table, <laughs> and you turn that sixty into a hundred and sixty. Or you know, in my case, uh, first, I, I gained first you have to know sixty, how to play so I double it, but only in the process of losing all of it. Then you then you'd have to learn how to play baccarat, which I don't even know what baccarat is. It, apparently, what I've heard, it's one of the easiest card games to learn. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. I'm I'm more of a blackjack kind of guy. That's a that's another pretty simple one. Yeah, I mean it's, it's like you know hit or stay, and the idea is you want to get twenty one, but not go over because if you go over, you instantly lose. I don't know how to play. But I'll, you know what? By the next time I am in one of these ch chilling with Gildan videos, I will learn how to play Baccarat for okay. you people. All right, that sounds pretty good. Uh, <laughs> anyways, so that that was my gambling story, and with my sixty dollars, I bought Left for Dead or Left for the Dead one? Two. I don't even remember. Either is a very good investment. I mean, one of the like the first one was good. The second one, I'm not really sure. So it was either like, a good investment or it was just like, oh, you bought you bought Left 4 Dead 2? Well, great, question mark. Yo, Left 4 Dead 2 was my jam. Like, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying, like, minor improvements from the first game. I suppose. Yeah. I don't know. No, I didn't no. play the first. I played the second game first. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that might not be a bad, such a bad thing. I played the first one first. I, yeah, I just don't remember which one I bought first. Or, I don't remember which one I bought with the, that $60. That's what I'm trying to say. Right. Yeah. Anyways, I think, I think I'm going to call it because, you know, I feel like this has been an episode. All right. Yeah. All right. Call it off them. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. Any any last things you want to say before we end it? Baccarat. Baccarat. All right, and with that, I I'm just going to say 
for any other information on the PS4 so I can get back to World of Final Fantasy. Uh, just check Twitter. Other than that, I'm out. Bye. Bye.